And hello there, and welcome back to The Legend of Matazuto, Fall of the Conqueror. Last time we were chasing this Rakshi, and I wasn't exactly sure where he went, but I think he went in there, so in the Onuwahi Tunnel. Before we pursue him, however, there is something I uh, found here. So it's, well, it's basically a mask, White Miru, Kupaka's mask, so now we have that. And now, now we can go into the tunnel proper. And I think this leads to Onukoro, where we have to go next. We haven't been there yet, so it makes sense. And we have a Kumanu here. We could escape because we surprised it, but let's just fight it and get the weapon and skill points. I think that's smart, especially since we're gonna pretty much demolish it, I think. Well, it seems to be taking a lot of hits, but... Also, I'm pretty sure we have lots of upgrade stones now, so we can actually uh, upgrade our tools or weapons, how they are called in this game. But for that, we have to go to the Tawahi Beach later on. Alright. Alright, so we have the Kakama on, so we're gonna going quite fast. We can't go here yet, but I get the feeling we're gonna go there later. And we are in Onukoro, just like that. Wasn't a long trip. This may offend you, Toa, but please be careful. Onukoro is ruled by some of the most ruthless minions. Arakshi and Anoris, disturbing creatures. We'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, you are selling boosts. Oh yeah. This is what I have been waiting for. This is what I'm going to be spending all our money on, basically. Because, um, well, as you probably guessed, these boosts are really useful and they can really... If you have enough money, they can give you, basically, superpowers. Oh, Akath is here. And he's selling some basic stuff. We don't need any of that yet. And... These are nuts for ocelot breeding. I don't exactly remember how it goes, but... Okay, we have the Kakama again. Uh, but we're gonna find out soon. Onukoro can get so boring sometimes, I just wish I, I, sh I could go on adventures like you do. If you're looking for the Great Mine, it's on the western end of Onukoro. It's marked by two light stones. I don't know if we're looking for it actually yet, Probably we should look for the Turaga first. The miners call me a coward for not joining them, and they work despite all my warnings. I fear for them, Gali. I really do. Alright, well, there's definitely distress in this city over here. Now let's see if... Yeah, the Onukoro Osolri place. Hello, Toa. I'm Onipu, captain of the Osolri regiment and Osol race champion. I also help raise my Ossal Crab and others too. Do we want to buy a stable? Can you evaluate my Ossals for me? You want me to take a look at your Ossals for you? No problem. I'll be able to tell you whether you have a bad, good, great or wonderful Ossal Crab. Alright, let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna controlling Onepu who has the speed of the Kakama. <laughs> so he's pretty fast. First off, this is a male Ossal Crab. Ugh, this is a bad Ossal Crab. <laughs> what would you like to do with this bad Ossal Crab? <laughs> oh no. Uh, we can't get rid of it. It's... It's cute. Um, let's keep it in the fence. Um, oh, oh, oh wow. Um, how do we... Oh, okay, like this. By pressing escape. So, unfortunately, we have a bad Ocel Crab. It's the one we uh, ca caught in the previous episode, but I'm too attached to it already, so we can't get rid of it. Hi, I'm the guy who br you buy greens from. Or, would you like to take an Ocel Crab with you? No, I don't want actually either. Uh, I don't actually want either of these yet, at least. No. Okay, now we have the Kakama again. Uh, there's our 
bad fossil crab. Well, we're gonna get catch some better ones in the future, I guess. Turaga Wanua's hut. Welcome back, Onua. I am glad to see you have brought other Toa here. Yes, but we're sorry to say we've come strictly on business. Is there anything you'd like to know from me? Well, have you seen Black Rakshi? A Black Rakshi? You must be referring to... The creature you seek is very dangerous, Toa. If you have seen him around, that can only mean that he is plotting. I would check the Great Mine. There have been rumors of a planned attack there. This may be what my people have been referring to. Please go investigate in the Great Mine. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Well, there is nothing else we can ask. Goodbye, Toa, and please be careful. Alright, so we're gonna go to the Great Mine then. Uh, let's... It irritates me how little work is being done in the Great Mine. People are too afraid. Well, maybe that's because of the rumors of an attack, so... They're probably the smart ones. Um, oh, there's an inn. We should probably rest. Hello, Great Toa. Oh. Are you the innkeeper? Yeah, we're gonna stay here. Because we were running kind of low on uh, element, ele uh, elemental points, elemental energy, however it is called in this game. Now, yeah, this is the Great Mine, and this is where we're gonna go now. And we'll see what happens. Hello, Toa. Welcome to the Great Mine. Who are you? I am Mamoru, the chief, pros the chief prospector of the Great Mine. I help make sure that all the workers below are safe while doing their duty. Okay, the Dark Rakshi. Have you seen a Dark Rakshi go through here recently? Why? No, Toa. Just the sight of that foul creature would result in, an, in alarm for the workers. Alright. Goodbye, Toa. Good luck on your quest. So, the Rakshi hasn't been seen here, but I still get the feeling we should go down here and check. Alright. Oh, lots of... Lots of Rahi again. Oh, we're gonna... Fight this guy. Shouldn't take too long to get rid of one. Okay, I don't know what that was. Alright. And with that out of the way, let's... Okay, it's a high potion. What is this? Mana Volo Herb. Alright. A Harakeke Tea. Very basic, uh... Alright, a potion. It's a very basic tunnel with your basic enemies. Nothing else going on here. Another potion. And time to save, I suppose, and go to the... Oh! Toa, you finally found me. Tell us, Rakshi, what is your name? Call me Putu, your destructor. Oh, so we're gonna fight him now. Well, let's do it. This is what we came for in the mine after all, so... We're pretty high on energy now, so... I'm not too worried. I wonder how the... Um, the masks work, actually. I think we should... Maybe we should try it out with Gali. No. No. Oh, come on. Okay, so, no way to use the mask. I'm really starting to wonder how it's supposed to work. Haha, <laughs> you fight well, Toa. However, it seems I am a better distraction than you are a hero. My comrade is already in the Great Mine. You stopped to fight me, and now the Matoran will be punished for welcoming you to this paradise. And we're just celebrating, like, yeah! Woohoo! The Matora in danger. Um. Okay. Oh my. There has been a disaster in the Great Mine.
find all the injured workers and get them to safety. Press enter and medics will pick him up. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do now. Do you have anything to say? No, okay, so we're just gonna find these guys. The workers who've been injured. Yeah, this is actually a very dark, dark game, dark story. Uh, not like the official story in that year. I mean, Bionicle got really dark later on, but back then it was, back in 2001, it was more about the mystery rather than the darkness. I mean, sure, there was this feeling of danger, and but it was more, like I said, more mysterious. Not so much about the... Like, in this game, it's more about the... There's a lot of despair and... And enslavement and all that jazz. And it really seems like the... Islanders are in a much greater danger than they were in the official story. You finished. 3000 experience po points. And okay, we got some level ups. Toa, I heard what happened in the Great Mine. I did it. I messed it up again. Don't be surprised though, it's usual. You cannot possibly blame yourself, Gully. What could we have done? He is right, Gully. What happened could not have been prevented. Putu is a cunning enemy, like many other minions. Well, you all can stay here. I'm going back to the Great Mine to see what more I can do to redeem myself. Don't let the minions of Makuta take away your confidence, Toa of Water. That's just what they need in order to destroy the Toa. Well, Gully's certainly feeling bad about herself. Reminds me a bit about... Uh, reminds me a bit of... Uh, the Toa Vakama. <laughs> Toa Metro Vakama in the... Metro new story. Uh, do we need to heal, actually? Yeah, we probably should. Oh. Okay, we got the... The Kukama, and here's the inn. Yeah, it costs money, but... I mean, we should probably be in at full strength when we go... Into the mines. Let's see what we can do there. Uh, okay, it's a bit hard to navigate with the Kakama, but... Okay, we're in back in the... Well, it's a good thing we saved, because that fight triggered a glitch, which again stopped stopped the game, um, or made the game crash, I mean. So, yeah, so I had to come back here, but luckily I had just saved, so it wasn't a problem. But it's a shame that there's still bugs and glitches. It's not like they happen often, but... Alright, these fights are kind of annoying, because they use up the elemental energy. Uh, let's see. This heals completely. This is probably useful here. Okay. I don't know if I should have done that yet, but... Uh, it's probably fine. At least we'll be in... Oh, okay, we can save here again. Hmm, the place is abandoned, it seems. I wonder where everyone went. Okay. We should have killed her, Warula. Killing the Toa would be much of a waste. I have a better plan. Infected masks. Infected masks? You're seriously going to take one to make her one of us? Part of our team? She's swift and very agile. If she worked for Makuta, there would be no hope for the rest of the Toa Mata. And without the wisest Toa steering them away from our plans, the bumbling Toa will fall one by one, or all together. I was also doubtful of the nightmare effect, but it appears to be working. 
The Toa have had their victories, but they can never defeat Makuda while they fear him so. Tell me, Warula, how do you plan on controlling such a powerful mind like the Toa of Waters? I won't lie, Olaki. It will be quite challenging. We will need one of the most powerful infec infected masks in existence in order to make her a slave of Makuta. Rongsho, you're going to ask Ko to infect Kanohi for you? Yes. Ko has an incredible power to create uh, some of the most powerful infected Kanohi. He's the best person for the job. I have contacted him already. Soon the Agile Toe of Water will forever be a servant of Makuta. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how long have I been here? I need to get out of the prison somehow. There has to be a way out of this. But, but what if there isn't? Guys, you're here. I'm glad you're okay, Golly. We need to find out who's responsible for this. Well, at least this time they had a reason to keep Gali alive, unlike in other previous situations where they basically just locked them up for no reason whatsoever. Even so, they are really bad at containing their prisoners, these minions. Um, okay, we've got to find our way there into the... Oh, well, that wasn't too hard. Ah, and we can save again. Okay, this is where we just... We visited there. Oh, um... Hello? Da-da-da. Um... Okay. That makes sense. And we have this puzzle again, which was, which I was saying, which I was afraid of being really difficult last time, but it actually wasn't. <laughs> Let's see if we can solve it again, as well as we did that time. Did I actually get it this time? It's been a long, long time. Uh, and something looks... I mean, I saw the puzzle, but... Nothing's happened. And none of the gates are open. Oh, do we need to do this first? Okay. Let's hope that did something. Yes, it did something. Ah, oh, it's been forever with that puzzle. That's the reason I said it was a difficult puzzle, because it is. Last time I was just lucky. I was extremely lucky last time. Now I didn't have the the same. Uh, where do we need to go now? Um. Ah, oh, yes, of course. I'm trying to make it come and work here. Ah, oh, I think we actually did it. I think we made it through. Wow, that was intense. That puzzle. Like I knew it would be, of course. And now we're actually deeper in the temple mm, somewhere. Courage hath wrought on the once wise mind. Okay. cool effects, but it's slowing down the game like crazy. Ok, 
Okay, so we are battling something. Looks like a Vizorak and some extremely random thing. It's actually kind of easy. Really anticlimactic villains or Rahi for all the light effects. Really anticlimactic. Wow, wow, we're going really slowly. There's a lot of lag here. That didn't make any sense though. Why were the enemies so weak? Oh. We're, we're lagging like crazy. Okay, now it's fine. We are dangerously unprepared for this. Wow, Toa, you got out quick. You're going to pay for what you did to Gali. Guys, this weird Toa and his machine did nothing to me directly besides kidnap me. Three rounds, Toa. If you manage to live that long, I'll free you. How about that? Warula and I are very short on time. We want to end this quickly. We know that what you've that you've managed to get past of many my Nakudo's minions already. We have taken that into consideration before we put our plan into action. Sure, we accept. All right, let's start this, shall we? <coughs> this is a strange battle. I mean, it's a timed battle. And all we've got to do for this time, basically, is to survive, I think. But let's see if we can actually defeat them. They shouldn't necessarily be that difficult to take down. Because I have this memory of them actually not being that difficult. And yeah, and like you see, that skill did absolutely nothing. If anything, they seem to be a bit under-leveled. The... I, I mean, the enemies seem to be under... Well... Much weaker than you would expect at this point of the game. Also, is that guy wearing the Mask of Time? Like, is it supposed to be the actual Mask of Time? Because if so, then... That's kind of interesting. Maybe in this... In this game, uh, Akama doesn't have a mask of time, but it was stolen from him or something along those lines. Of course, the whole the whole mythos seems to be very different. The lore is separate entirely. We're actually doing pretty okay here. Silence. I guess that means no elemental powers. They're not actually attacking that hard. But they are considerable tanks. They're taking hits like crazy. I wonder if actually they've been designed to basically last that five minutes that was in the time timer. Really strange. Also, one of the guys, like I said, is wearing the Mask of Time, and the other one is in an Exo Toa. It's very interesting. Wow, these these guys are crazily powerful. That that Bahi guy just used some kind of a time spell, so I guess he does somehow control time. Lewa is silenced here, but that doesn't matter. They're doing pretty okay, even without the elements. Because they have their special moves, like Banua is constantly using his special moves. Alright, they're doing pretty fine. Pretty okay here. And we actually defeated one of the enemies, so it's possible that we're going to defeat the other one as well within the time. Because, I mean, he's already taken some damage. So we might be able to accomplish this. 
<clears throat> but yeah, they are quite intense. This is a very random segment of the game, the whole Temple of Time. And... Well, the dungeon itself wasn't that bad. It was quite a good length. I mean, there, was, there wasn't anything other than that absolutely infuriating puzzle that took forever to solve. That was absolutely ridiculous. And I don't even know, it's probably not even supposed to be that difficult. I just can't figure it out for the life of me. There's just something about it. Like, I just basically have to trust. Because I've, I've been trying to find patterns in it. But it's just, it just didn't work. It just never actually seemed to be working, so... So in the end, it ended up being mostly random. I would probably... Oh. Yes, we actually won. Within the time. We got a lot of good stuff. Well, a lot of money and an upgrade stone. And lots of experience points. Alright, let's just get out of here. This place is weird. My thoughts exactly. This is a really strange place. Looks really cool though, I, have, I must say. And... Oh, we're out. Look, in front of you. You see that? It's a secret passage. How could we not have noticed it before? Never mind, let's go. Okay, <laughs> it was a really random passage, I have to say. Oh, is that a mask? Blue Akaku, okay. So, one of Kali's masks was there. That's cool. Dungeon of Time, no Matoran allowed. Okay. Oh, are we, is this, are we walking on walls? I think we are walking on walls. We are so excited to get out that we're walking walls. These blasted toe have been alive for far too long. <laughs> what are we doing wrong? <clears throat> Sorry. I will not let this weak toe take me again. Starlight and Starbright are pretty strong. They should definitely be able to take on the Toa Mata and win. I must get in contact with Starbright quickly so that we can put our plan into action. Oh, okay. I can't believe it. You all challenged the time leaders and lived? He dared us to stay alive for about six minutes. After that, we ran out for our lives. We ran for our lives. And that's exactly what you should have done. The time leaders are the most powerful enemies, save Nakudo and Makuda. So you're saying we've pretty much faced the worst besides Nakudo and Makuda? Yes. After facing a danger like that, you must be in lust for relax relaxation. I'm for the Cabana Tropic. Who's with me? Lewa, we have to keep searching for the great masks. We can't take a break now. We can and we will. Just follow me. We won't stay long. The island will live flourish without us. Alright, Turaga Wenua. Thanks for everything. We'll see you soon. May the great beings continue to watch over you. Don't... okay. <coughs> so... Lewa wants us to go to... the Cabana Tropic. Although... I don't really see how... <laughs> he's so chill, considering this island is... enslaved by all these powerful... minions, but oh well. That's a labor for you. Now I think it's time for lots of speed boosts. I don't know if I should have actually gone more for the speed rather than the attack, because I bought a lot of attack boosts, but... Let's see, we can use the speed boosts on... Ah, let's use them all on Gully. Let's check. Uh, speed is 370. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna max out all of them in the end, so let's start with Gali. I'm pretty sure we can ma actually max them out because I've 
played this game before and I think I did that then. Speed is one of the most important things. So, so, so I think I'm gonna focus on that. We should also go to the Tower the Beach for the upgraded weapons. Now this Kumanui is not gonna stop us from going to the Cabana Tropic, but I wonder how we actually reach that place, because this tunnel probably leads to Leiwahi, but I'm not entirely sure. Alright, we, we made it past that. I don't know if we're just supposed to go down. Okay, we are going to run away. <laughs> Cave to Onukoro, okay. Well, it says under construction, but it's ready now. So now we can actually go to the Combined Tropic here. Uh, okay. Let's see, we've been here before. And now with our Kakama... Oh! Ah, see what I mean with the masks just sort of randomly... What I was gonna say was... What I was gonna say was that the masks really just just sort of appear out of nowhere. Oh, we can get to it. Are we supposed to... How is this supposed to work? I mean, we can see the mask over there, but how do we get to it? Oh, well, <laughs> well now I feel foolish. An air armlet. Red cow cow. So, Tahu's cow cow is here. Okay, let's see if we can actually get out of here without running into enemies. We oh, there's an also crab. Uh, if we use. Shit, I wonder if we can actually. Yeah, we got an Ocelot Crab. That's awesome. I think the idea is not to hurt the Ocelot Crab, and that's how you get it. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna stop. Set the crab to Onukoro. That's really cool. We can go there later and see if it's a better one than the last one we found. Oh, another also crab. That's cool. Let's see if we can catch it. Oh yeah, another one. All right. So again, let's send it to Onukoro. Oh, that's really cool. We've got two also crabs now. New ones. I mean. I don't remember what we actually use the Ocelot Crabs for. I think in, a, in Cabana Tropic there is something you can do with them. Where, which is exactly where we're going now, so it's kind of ironic. But No? Oh, come on. I don't want to fight you. Alright. Well, I think we're going to end it off here, actually. We didn't quite make it to the Cabana Tropic, but we are going to do that in the next episode. So, until then, see you guys next time.